So it's not a big feel, but I think it's uh, potentially a thriller, this. And uh, obviously expecting Surname to be on the pace. Looks like Aso might be ridden forward, despite uh, being uh, pretty much unproven over the trip. Lost in translation was held up at Haydock, came through strongly at the finish. The starter's ready to let them go. Coming in, five runners. The 2019 Lapras King George the Sixth Chase. Chasing's Midwinter Classic. Surname leading them forward. Aso to the outside. 18 fences to jump. Three miles the journey. One of these seeking to add his name to an impressive roll of honor. They're off and racing. And Aso on the outside of Surname as they pass the starter. Footpad on the inside of Clandes Oboe and lost in translation as they head towards fence number one and it's Aso that takes them along. Surname under a little bit of restraint in the early stages going to the first Aso over. Surname second, lost in translation, quite handy on the outside. Last year's winner Clandes Oboe in the noseband and footpad held up last of the five at the second and open ditch and a spectacular jump by both Aso and in second Surname, lost in translation over in third. Then Clandes Oboe and Footpad on the inside. So turning towards the back straight for the first time and despite being unproven over three miles, Aso it is that sets the pace. About three lengths clear of Surname in second place under Harry Cobden. Robbie Power on Lost in Translation to the outside in the yellow jacket. Then Clandes Oboe and Sam Twiston Davis and Footpad at the back. Barry Geraghty, twice a winner on Kicking King some years ago. Down the back straight and on towards fence number three. Aso, Charlie Deutsch, over in front from Surname in second place up the inner. Lost in translation is third and then Clandes Oboe and Footpad on to another plain fence and then it'll be an open ditch. Aso in tight this time makes a mistake. Surname much closer on landing on to this open ditch. Charlie Deutsch will be looking for a better jump from Aso this time. Surname right alongside now on the inside on takeoff. In the air together, the two leaders. Foot pad the inside of Clandes Oboe and then lost in translation the Betfair chase winner. Should he win today and go on to win the Gold Cup, there's a, a big bonus in waiting as they clear the last in the back straight. Surname from Aso. Surname going on now as they turn the right-hander and head towards the home straight for the first time. Surname by length to Aso in second. Footpad has gone third on the inside of Clandes Oboe and lost in translation in last place of the five and about seven lengths behind the leader. So turning up the home straight, Surname, conqueror of Altior last time out at Ascot, the highest rated chaser in the country, leads the way in the King George from Aso out wider. Over the first of the three down the home run. Good jumps by the leaders. Footpad over in third on the inside. Then Clandes Oboe and lost in translation. On to the next. This is fence number eight of the 18. And Surname really stood off that. He had to reach over from Aso. Then Footpad and Clandes Oboe and lost in translation as they race on now towards the fence in front of the sands. At this point in a circuit's time, the tap will be on well and truly and they're over safely and it's Surname who's going to lead them past the judge. From Aso in second place, the crowd give them a roar. In, in third place is Footpad followed by Clandes Oboe and lost in translation. Five top class chasers turning right handed away from the stands and headed now out onto their final circuit and it's uh, Aso ranging up again on the outside of Surname. Two lengths away to Footpad. Then Clandes Oboe and lost in translation. On to another plain fence. This will be number 10, followed by an open ditch. Aso to the outside of Surname. Footpad just in behind them. Clandes Oboe waited with. 
and lost in translation at the next. The two leaders in the air together, but surname put in the better jump, the, the cleaner jump there. Aso brushing through the birch onto an open ditch. Surname Copton sees a stride here. Marvelous jump from surname. Footpad the insider Clanders Oboe. Aso again out jumped, lost in translation. That was breathtaking from surname. They now swing right handed this event into the back straight. Seven fences five left minutes. to jump in the King Jaws. Surname Aso trying to come back on the scene. Clanders Zobo, foot pad up the inside, they're breathing down the leader's necks, and then behind them, lost in translation. So a line of four fences down the back on this final circuit, and Surname with a definite advantage now, beginning to press on as they approach this next plane fence. Surname coming in to take it. This time Copton sitting still, and met it well from Clandes Obo, his stable companion, going second last year's winner, travelling well, lost in translation, now on the move. He goes up into a share of third with foot pad, and then Aso over the next. Good jump again from Surname from Clandes, and trans a lost in translation wasn't so good there as they race on towards the final open ditch. It's Surname out in front from Clandes Obo. Footpad lost in translation and Aso at this ditch. Uh, Clandes Obo rather right-handed there and it's Surname that's powering on. Here comes lost in translation. Back on the scene on the outside. This is four out. Surname shortens up. Oh, lost in translation was too long there and not good at all. And Clandes Obo is a clear second. Robbie Power gets to work on lost in translation. Foot Pad goes well in third. Aso at the back of the field. It's Paul Nichols, one and two, the champion trainer, bidding to win the King George for the eleventh time. Surname from Clandes Obo. Footpad trying to challenge in third place as they swing the corner with three fences left to jump. And on the inside, Surname just out in front. Clandes Obo looking at big danger. Lost in translation, being pulled up. Very disappointing over three outs. It's Surname and Clandes Obo. Footpad in third. Aso in fourth, Cobden gets to work on surname, Clandes Obo cruising up under Sam Twiston Davis, here now is the second last, they're going to meet it together, Clandes Obo jumps into the lead from surname, and surname's emptying, footpad back in third, and Clandes Obo, last year's winner, is now coming right away from stable companion surname at the final fence, and a brilliant jump, Clandes Obo is 10, 12 lengths clear of surname, footpad pad and then Aso and it's a second King George for Clandes Obo under Sam Tristan Davis and number 11 for trainer Paul Nichols. Surname emptying in second, foot pad third, Aso fourth. Clandes Obo wins the Labrook King George and wins well under a smiling Sam Tristan Davis extended away from stable companion surname disappointing in the end from lost in translation after he reached for four out and never got back into it after that 11 to 2 Clanders Obo Sam Tristan Davis receiving those congratulations and he wins an 11th for Paul Nichols and well done to that team what a record they've got in the King George now